Hey, it's your Boomer Consumer, and this episode is all about the Edifier MR4 Studio Monitor Speakers. As a disclaimer, these were sent to me at no cost from Edifier for review. However, all opinions are my own, and no one has reviewed this video prior to posting. So Edifier describes these as a active near-field speaker for music reproduction and also for creators, and it sells for $130. For more information, I have a link down below in the description, but that is what they are described as. These are active monitor speakers. Okay, so let's get into the specs of the MR4s. First, you get a one inch silk dome tweeter and then a four inch bass driver and it's treated with mica and it's got a really nice little thump to it. You also get a frequency response of 60 hertz to 20 kilohertz, distortion of 0.20%. You get dual uh, modes on here, music mode and a monitor mode. And we'll discuss that in just a minute. It has construction of MDF, so it's got a nice solid feel to it. You've got a inductive and second order frequency divider for the drivers, and that's to acquire a better signal with these. They measure nine inches tall by five and a half inches wide and approximately seven inches in depth. I should mention that these are rated at 21 watts per channel driven by a class D amplifier. So you can use these speakers with your PC, gaming devices, portable devices as well, such as tablets, phones with a 3.5 millimeter output jack on there. And you can also use it with audio devices such as mixers, consoles, that type of thing for a professional studio as well. You get a lot of utility with both RCA inputs for streamers, turntables, CD players. So these are extremely versatile speakers for the price. Again, you get a monitor mode. These are studio monitors and can be used for music both. So with your monitors, again, you can plug in a mixing console, mixers, professional equipment for audio production. With the monitor mode, you get a little bit flatter frequency response and Edifier has had these professionally tuned for that very purpose. And the music mode, well, that adds a little bit more to the bass and mid-range on these speakers. Now, Edifier did a great job with the packaging. Uh, when you open up the box, they're covered with a protective styrofoam. Once you take off the foam, you see the two speakers. Next, there's an accessory bag. And in that bag, you get an RCA cable to 3.5 millimeter adapter, a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable, and some speaker wire over 10 feet long. And then finally, you get the user guide. Now let's take a tour of the powered speakers. And uh, we'll start with this, this is your main speaker. And then the other one uh, just connects to this with speaker wire. So we'll move this out of the way. Bring this up a little bit closer. And on the front, you have an auxiliary input. And so I use my, uh, my smartphone to plug into that. You have a headphone jack, and then you have the multi-function switch. So this powers it on, just press and hold. And it comes up with a green LED. I don't know if you can see that on camera. That tells you you're in music mode. A simple tap of the button changes it to monitor mode. And of course, you can adjust the volume. By the way, when you plug in headphones, it will mute the speakers and then you just hear audio through the headphones. And that's pretty much all there is to the front of the speaker. Now on the back of the speaker, you have a tune port and then you have basically tone controls over your bass, which is the crossover at 100 hertz. That's what it affects, the 100 hertz range. And then the 10 kilohertz range for the mid and high frequencies. You have a pair of RCA inputs on here. So that way you can plug in a CD player, or if you have a turntable, it's got its own preamp. You can plug it into there. Other devices that uh, output to, three point, or to RCA. Then you have a pair of balanced TRS inputs. 
There we would plug in uh, 6.35 millimeter uh, adapters into that, again for a mixer, console, uh, that kind of thing. And finally, you have your speaker clips right here that go to the other speaker. And that is the back of the MR4. Okay, let's talk about the sound of these speakers. And I'm going to try to avoid all the audiophile buzzwords and jargon. And if I have to, I'll try to describe what I'm talking about. Soundstage. What is soundstage? Well, imagine you're sitting in a concert. The stage in front of you, how wide is it? How deep? Does it kind of disappear? And the answer is, it's very good. Provided you understand these are near field speakers. These are meant to be listening in close proximity to, right? So the closer you have them, the better it's going to be. What about imaging? How well do they image? Well, what does imaging mean? It means can you pick out the various instruments and performers on that stage? Again, if you're sitting close to these, it's very, very good. How about the bass? You have a four inch woofer, folks. 60 hertz. It's not going to shake the house, but it is smooth. It's not muddy. It doesn't go all over the place. It's tight. It's fast. I think it's perfectly acceptable, especially if you're playing video games or if you're listening to music up close and personal. It's going to sound very, very good for what it is. What about the uh, the highs? What about the treble on here? Uh, treble is not shrill. It's not fatiguing. It's not tiring. That one inch self dome tweeter actually does a tremendous job. What about mid range? What is mid range? Well, let's just talk about maybe the singer's voices and so forth. That's an area these little speakers really, really shine. They do a, a tremendous job with vocals. You have a sense of presence and detail that, well, for the lack of a better term, it, it just exceeds what I expected with these speakers. They get good and loud, so no problem there. Yes, if you start cranking them up, you will start to get some audible distortion, but you don't need to play these at ear splitting levels. They are quite happy uh, to provide great volume of sound without having to crank up the volume that much. These are well constructed. Now, I didn't mention this earlier, but they're available in white and black. I think they're very attractive. And these are well constructed. You got a, a plastic front baffle. Again, these are $130 a pair. But then you have a nice MDF construction on the cabinets. I think they look quite nice. And because they're so versatile, you know, for example, I create YouTube videos. So I want to hear the audio as natural and flat without coloration as I can. I can do so with a touch of a button on here, or I can totally ignore that and leave it in music mode. There's not a lot of discernible difference in my opinion between music and monitor mode, but again, that frequency response is more flattened down. And Edifier spent a great deal of money and time having these things um, corrected in order to provide great sound. Whether you want to use these as a pair of bookshelf speakers, maybe you're getting back into vinyl, or you want to use them with your, your, you know, your computer for listening to music or playing video games, or if you're doing uh, audio editing, these are great all-rounders. They're not super big. They're not super heavy. They don't take up a lot of room. They deliver big sound, a nice flat sound in monitor mode. They're very versatile. And there's a lot of computer speakers out there on the market, desktop speakers, a self or more, but don't deliver the kind of quality and sound that the MR4s deliver. So that's it. That's my review of the Edifier MR4 monitor speakers. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.